Hello and welcome to my Surfer SEO tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to use Surfer SEO for beginners. More specifically, what I'm going to be showcasing in this tutorial is the keyword research section. And of course, once you do that, picking out a specific keyword that you want to utilize with the content editor. I think what I'll also do is given the fact that once you have your article ready to create, I'm going to show you how to use Jasper in case you haven't seen my previous video where you can quickly write an article and then of course optimize it so you can rank higher in Google. If you would like to test out Surfer or maybe you're just watching this, curious to see what it's all about, I will leave my link down below where you can get access to that. All right, so here we are on the inside of Surfer, and this is going to be for keyword research. We can discover dozens of relevant topic clusters in a matter of minutes. This is good not only if you have an idea about what you want to write, but it's going to give you even more ideas. I already knew right off the bat I'm going to be talking about golf. I live in Florida, so I like using that as examples. So for this specific keyword, I'm just going to type in the benefits of playing golf, and let's click on the create keyword research. Also, if you want to change this outside of the United States, you can do that, and I'm going to click right here. Okay, and once that is done loading, let's simply click on the actual keyword right here to go to the next page. All right, so if we scroll down, you're going to see there's going to be some relevant keywords. Of course, we're sorted by the relevant here. You could search by the highest volume, the lowest volume, of course, the difficulty, if you want to go for something that's a little bit lower. As you can see, the KD keyword difficulty is going to be a lower. It's going to be better here. And we have our monthly search volume. So we have golf benefits, how to get more distance off the tee. We have some golf injury, uh, playing golf benefits. Something like this is going to be great, very similar to what I was talking about. And as you go down, you see some are going to be a little bit different, but it's not going to be too bad, like youth sports benefits. If you had a, a golf blog, you could obviously do all of sports to make it a much bigger authority website, like weight bearing exercise. That can be relevant, especially for the fact that there are going to be weight bearing exercises you can do to improve your golf game. Uh, some other ones, it was a 2K21 golf. I think that's a, is that a, a video game? I'm not sure. Uh, wash golf balls, tennis sports. So once again, little outside of golf, but all under the spectrum of sports. And it gives you a lot of ideas where if you go to create content for one of these, you're going to get even more keywords that you can utilize. In fact, that's exactly what we're going to do. I like playing golf benefits. If we click on this, we can see more of the content in here or just some of the keywords. And what we can do is create simply an article based upon this. And we have some other keywords that we might want to sprinkle in when we're going to be creating our content. Overall, the keyword research is, it's not like the biggest thing in the world in terms of finding a lot of keywords, but it's nice to give you some other ideas that you can use in the future. And of course, when you go to use their content editor, which I'm going to show you. So I like playing golf benefits. Let's click on the create for one CE credit right here. Okay, so once it's done, it says content creator was created with NLP analysis. It was created a minute ago. So we can click on these three dots right here and do open content editor. And all right, here we are on the content editor page. Just to get you started, there's a couple things that you can do. There's going to be inserting an outline or the headings. Me personally, I'm going to show you here, but I'm not too big on this. I would rather just write them myself, but you're going to see as they come up, this is going to jump up drastically simply because now we have more headings. We have more words. We're already a good percentage of the, the way there. I'd recommend going to green. You don't have to go all the way to a hundred, but this will give you a good idea or a good starting place if you don't have anything else to do at the time. There's also the the ability to write with Surfer AI, and I purchased some tokens for that, so I'm going to do a separate video showcasing how that works exactly. Nevertheless, on the, on the right side, we have our guidelines, we have our outline, and of course, our brief. The idea here is to create an article that's anywhere between around you know 1,100 and 1,300 words. We want between 14 and 27 headings. We want at least 33 paragraphs and at least 15 images with 62 max. Also, what we want to do after we create it or during when we create it is sprinkle in these keywords in here because these are going to be some of the most important ones that we want to utilize. OK, so that's going to be important. But before we do anything, probably one of the most important aspects is going to customize. This is going to show us some of the top competitors that we should be using when we go to create our content. So I'll give you an example. And what I did is just do playing golf benefits in Google. I have the uh, Chrome extension for Surfer, which is going to be free. And I like it because it quickly tells you the amount of traffic here. So this is a huge website. You usually don't want big authority websites to be as your competitors because when you think about it, they barely need any effort to rank. There's just so much authority to it. They probably don't need any links. Just throwing together a page with the keyword as the title and the URL, they're probably going to be good to go. So you don't want to have to compete against something like that because they're just pretty much winning based upon authority as opposed to the optimization of their page. So 
This isn't always going to match up, something I've noticed. Like you see Harbor Hills Club and then Circle Health. Let's find where they are. Harbor Hills is great. Look at that, only 3000 a month. That's great. That's something you're looking for. So How She Golfs is 31000 That's going to be a good one. I think that's checked off right here. That's great. And of course, we have a few more down here. So Dimples and let's see, Kaiser University. Sometimes they're not going to match up and be in the top 10. This has 155,000. I mean, you could go for it. You could not go for it. Given the fact I like having around five, which is something it recommends. Something I've also noticed, maybe there's not going to be five that you can use. That's going to be fine. Sometimes there's only one or two and you're probably going to want to go after those, especially if they're going to be related to the keyword that you're going after. So five reasons you should start playing golf. Now let's take a look at this one. Let's open it up in a new tab. And it looks like a very simple site. Like this could be an affiliate site. You know, let's see, book online course, find a golf partner. I would specifically use this one. And we have our title, 10 Great Health Benefits of Golf, very similar to what we're talking about. So that's how you're going to want to go and optimize or at least get started for the organic competitors. Don't use ones that are just absolutely massive. Stick with ones that are very similar to where you are, maybe a little bit higher. And of course, that they're optimized for a similar keyword. I understand that playing golf benefits is going to be slightly different than nine reasons why everyone should play golf, but that is also going to talk about benefits. So I'm going to throw it in there. Nevertheless, it will get much easier for going after specific keywords, say like surfer SEO review. You're going to know people that are doing that because they make it blatantly obvious. Sometimes keywords will be a little bit more challenging to kind of figure out. And sometimes it'll be just like a slam dunk. I know they're going for this keyword. Let's pick this competitor, this competitor, and this one, and so on and so forth. Nevertheless, there's also going to be the content structure in case you want to take a look at that. At the moment, based upon our competitors, that's also why it's very important you pick the right ones is that it's going to change the amount of words you have, the headings, the paragraphs, and the images. So we have terms to use. I like keeping all the green ones. Those are going to be fine. I believe they're naturally just kept like that. Here are some of the red ones. Like if you wanted to add them in, maybe you see one in there that you like, or maybe you wanted to use. I just stick with how it is in the beginning. We also have some topics and questions. These are going to be some good ideas that you can use when you're creating your article. So maybe it could be a headline. You also have people also ask. So like at the end, it also happens to be uh, questions there, competitors, and of course, surfers, nothing going on there. So these are just some things that you can use when it comes to creating your article. We have some notes down there. And overall, I think the most important aspect of this is going to be picking the right competitors. Once you do that, you're going to be on your way or much closer to being on your way and being more accurate with your writing and of course, ranking higher in Google. So let's click on let's go because we're all done with that. Okay, so everything is good to go. This is going to be this separate part where you want to write your content. Now, this is going to be up to you completely how you do it. Like you said, you can write with Surfer AI. What I'm actually going to do is use Jasper to create it because Surfer actually integrates with Jasper. I'm not going to bore you with all the details. What I will do is I will leave a link deeper into the description that actually shows the tutorial about how you can use Jasper and of course, Surfer SEO. But Really what I like doing, knowing that I have this content editor here, I just go at it and I start sprinkling words or keywords in here that I want to utilize. Of course, making sure that I have anywhere between about 1100 and 1300 words, that's going to give me a good idea of how many headings I need, you know, how many specific paragraphs and going on from there. So, so this is where the rubber meets the word where you actually have to go out there and create it. But once you do that, you can go back and optimize it to make it much better. So. What I'm going to do is go into Jasper. I'm going to fast forward through it so you don't have to watch through this, but I'm just going to give like a rough draft of this article just to show you how we can optimize it when we're done. So once I create an article, I will be right back. So I will see you very shortly. All right, and just like that, I have created an article and it's going to be, let's see, 1,298 words that hits the check mark there. We don't have any headings simply because I haven't made these like H2 or made them bigger. Paragraphs is easy to add more. We can simply just create more like breaks in terms of if there's a lot of text there. But what I want to do is given the fact this is in Jasper, I'm just going to copy and paste it over to uh, Surfer just in case you don't have Jasper. So it doesn't look, you know, different or funky or anything like that. So. All right, so what I did after just pasting it in is I, I made everything look a little bit better. You'll see each of these is going to be a headline. So what I can do is just going to highlight, oops, click here and highlight this. And let's make this our H1. Of course, we can make this our H2. And I'm just going to go through and make these all H2s so there's no confusion when it comes to that. So I'll skip over that. Once I'm done, I'll be right back. 
All right, so as you can see there, we have nine headings. We're going to need about five more. We can always break that up a little bit more. In terms of the paragraphs, we're going to be looking at some of the things that we can edit just to make the structure better. And of course, this is going to be the most important in terms of the words and keywords that we want to add. So in case we did want to change this around, this is very easy to do. For example, if you see aspects where there's like bigger blocks of text, you can do something like that. You know, for example, let's do enter here. Where does this, let's see, change? How about this? So we need at least 33. So that shouldn't be too difficult to do, especially if we, you know, add more line breaks. I'd say like, if you're looking for optimization, like obviously that's what we're doing here. Probably not the hugest thing to focus on, but it will make it better for reading on the eyes. I normally like doing every like two or three sentences. I'll add a, a new paragraph just to make it easier to read. I will use more headings. So the aesthetics overall are going to be better. If you've ever gone to a forum and someone has written an entire essay without adding a paragraph, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. It's just very hard to read. And it's just like, it makes you just want to like hit back and find a different one. So not only is it an, an aesthetics thing as a tongue twister, but you know, we're getting our paragraphs up a little bit more. I don't know how much that's going to make a huge deal, but it's just something I like doing overall. And we'll do this, you know, a couple more times. So we'll get four more in eventually, but let's go back up. So now that we're in our word range, what we want to do is start sprinkling around where we can use some of these. So just kind of looking over them, we have golf courses, play golf, golf club, playing golf regularly. Let's see. So enhance your mental golf with the stress relief and, re and relaxation of playing. How about this? Golf regularly. And of course, where are we? Regularly. And that's going to go green right here. Perfect. Okay. Obviously, I would make those uh, caps in the beginning of that. So regularly playing golf. You know, let's see. Look no further than a, let's see regularly playing golf. Sometimes you feel like you have to might force some of these in here, but don't make it like something. Let's see. The focus required to hit the ball just right can help quiet the mind and alleviate anxiety like on many golf courses. Like, you know, it, it just doesn't sound all that great. Let's see. Other health benefits. How about that? Like, let's talk about some other health benefits next. Oops. So keep in mind when I'm doing this, it might not make a whole lot of sense like in the actual article form. When I went through drafts, I just wanted to do like a quick rough draft. Like it's not going to be the prettiest in the world, but this is more so just kind of showing you how you can optimize it and add in, you know, many of these important keywords. So like the ones on the top are going to be better. So golf courses. Well, let's see. Improve your cardiovascular fitness as you walk around, let's just say golf courses, right? And just like that, we have one. So where else can we throw that in on the golf course? Like I said, some of these, it'll be weird if you just throw it in there. Learn rules of etiquette and decorum while playing competitively on the golf courses. And just like that, we have two now. So golf club. Develop, let's see, skills during each hole on the course are crucial for a golf club to improve their game. Not only will they develop skills, but also provide you with a clear plan of action. Let's say, depending on which golf club you are using. Sometimes you'll have to add a little bit more. Sometimes you'll have to do a segue. And like in speaking of using your golf club, dot, 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 when you start playing golf, you're going to want to make sure you get good with your putter. You know, something like that where you can just add even more in there. So regularly playing golf. Where can we sprinkle that in? Let's see, and devise a plan of attack, not to mention having a strategic plan can help you stay calm under pressure and avoid costly mistakes. As you start regularly playing golf, you'll find that you get much better at this. So something else I do want to talk about, if you're like me, when you go in and you optimize, sometimes you want to leave yourself uh, like, like start off on the bottom and then, you know, work your way up from there. If you'll notice before, I think we were in like the 1200s, but as I'm adding more sentences to this, we're starting to creep up higher and higher. In fact, we're like four words away from, you know, just being too high. So that's something to keep in mind as well. So golf as a stress reliever. How about this? Play golf to relieve stress. There we go. Play golf. 
Let's see. So if you're going to give golf a try, there are many more health benefits too. So health benefits is something we want to use at least five times. We have two there. Let's see. Golf is fun. Need to spend more time outside. So how about something? Uh, let's see. How about this? How about benefits of golf? Benefits of golf. Here is a perk that many of the snowbirds will love. In case you're not familiar with snowbirds, uh, I live in Florida. So pretty much anyone who moves up on north comes down, you know, during like the cold winter seasons. Uh, Consider it a snowbird because you get to spend more time outside. All right. So and kind of going down. So I'm probably not going to do too many more. Let's just say uh, when you're out in the course, the beauty of nature and calming energy that comes with it can reduce stress, clear your mind and improve your mood. Talk about some great health benefits, right? Like I said, that's usually something that I like doing. Like I'll give a statement or provide facts and I'll say like, we'll talk about some great health benefits, right? Or like, don't you think you should start playing golf soon? Question mark, start playing golf and and just like that. So I think you kind of get the idea, sun exposure. Okay, how about that? And let's see. Just make sure that you don't get too much sun exposure, especially in Florida, something like that. So sun exposure, where was that one? Right there. So we just added that in. And this is like the gamification process that I like so much about this. At this point, we are at 68. And like I said, this is something I also want to talk about as I conclude this surfer tutorial is that I see so many people that are like, I finally got to a hundred. And it's like, I don't think it's that much of a big of a deal. You know, get anywhere in the green around here is fine, but I don't think that you should waste so much like precious time, like removing a few words just to find the best words to put in just to make sure that you get like 99 or a hundred. From my experience and in my opinion, anywhere in like, you know, 70s to like 90s is perfectly fine. Don't spend too much time thinking you need to get all the way to 100. Like you're going to be well optimized enough. And of course, some other things you notice how we added some more words. Very easy to take some out if needed. If we need to add more headings as well, what we can do is they say, think about this. Like, are there any other specific headings that we can use? So maybe like we have the golf benefits. We can do one, say, H2 of like, you know, health benefits. And then for like H3, 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 that can be like stress relieving. Uh, what else can we do for health benefits? We can do improves your cardiovascular. You know, you get to walk around a lot. You get to walk a lot of miles. It helps keep you in shape. So that's just an easier way of adding more headings. And as I talked about previously with the paragraphs, that's very easy to do. If you have like these really long run on sentences, or sometimes what you can do is just go like this. Let's talk about some other health benefits next and keep that last sentence just like that. Very easy way to add that in. Plus it's easier to read. And we could probably do that a few more times. Maybe not there, but just to get that that paragraph up, let's do one more. No, not that one. There we go. And just like that, our paragraphs are up as well. So that should give you a good overview when it comes to using the keyword research and of course the content editor. I think this is my favorite part of Surfer because like I said, it gives you a game plan of going in when you go to create your content so that once you like you optimize it much higher, of course, you're going to have the higher chances of ranking because you're doing exactly what Google likes based upon some of your closest competitors in the top 10. And that's why Surfer can work so well. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I hope you got some value out of this tutorial. Like I said, it's just with the keyword research and the content editor. I will be doing a separate video when it comes to their AI feature, just so you can get a good idea about how that works in case you want to check that out. And lastly, in case you were just watching this to see how Surfer works, I will leave my link down below where you can get access to Surfer SEO. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.